Hello Panthers, I'm Chloe Olson here today for our first senior highlight. During this time, we want to get to know some of our seniors at MHS. Today, we have Carson Almond. Hi guys. Hey Carson. Carson, tell us a little bit about you. What are you involved with at MHS? Well, a little bit about me is, first things first, my favorite color is blue, obviously. I'm a proud MHS Panther, and I've been involved with pretty much everything you could think of. Okay, not really, but uh, theater, choir, FFA, now 4-H. I've been a flag runner. I've been, I'm involved in FCCLA, NHS, and that that's about all the big stuff. You've done so much. I have to give you props. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now it's time for our Would You Rather segment. Carson, I'm going to give you some Would You Rather questions, and I want you to answer as honestly as possible. You ready? Absolutely, always. Okay, so would you rather lose the ability to read or lose the ability to speak? <laughs> lose the ability to read. Why? Well, because if y'all know me, I'm a talker. I love talking. So, like, why? I think reading is a wonderful skill, but there's so many things in this day and age that would allow you to hear books. You can listen to books. You could do stuff like that. But just not being able to read, I'm okay with that. Okay. Next one. Would you rather be covered in scales or be covered in fur? Well, on one hand, scales is kind of cool. You got like the dragon vibe going on, but I'd probably pick fur just because I feel like scales would be kind of slimy and gross. And that'd be like fur would be kind of like, we already have hair, so mm -hmm. it would be more natural. Yeah. Okay. So I know that uh, you teach, not teach, but you're a student teacher at the middle school for I am. history. And so I picked this one because I know that you like history of some sort. So would you rather know the history of every object you touch or be able to speak to animals? Ooh, that is a hard one because objects you touch, you could touch relics or heirlooms from your um, family and heritage. And that'd be really, really cool um, to know the history of that. But talking to animals, that's actually insane. Actually, um, I'm going to go with um, uh, be able to see the history of objects because if you could talk to animals, I feel like that'd cause some problems. <laughs> yeah. With, you know, us having them as pets and stuff. So, yeah. Yeah. I feel like they would not be happy about that. <laughs> no, they would not. They'd yeah. have something to say about it. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. Would you rather be able to see ten minutes into your future or ten minutes into the future of anyone but yourself? Oh, I'd say ten minutes into my future, because like, say if I do something stupid, I'm like, ooh, I cannot do something stupid. I can, I can fix mistakes before they happen, but then that would change everything. Okay, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. Overthinking it. <laughs> Would you rather move to a new city or town every week or never be able to leave the city or town you were born in? Oh, move to a new city and town every week. <laughs> I'm so spontaneous. I love Midlothian, but like if I had the ability to move every single week. Now, I know it, it doesn't go into detail on stuff. I don't know how like packing and stuff would go. That'd be pretty weird, but yes. Okay. Would you rather have unlimited tacos for the rest of your life or unlimited sushi? Doesn't matter the kind of sushi sauce tacos. So it could be All right. unlimited sushi. Love tacos, love Mexican food, but sushi is so good. And I love eating random stuff that I don't know what it is. Some people would be very scared about that, but I'm kind of like, if you put something on a plate in front of me, I'm going to eat it. That's kind of concerning, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> Would you rather be constantly tired no matter how much sleep you get or constantly hungry no matter how much you eat? Ooh, constantly hungry because I feel like if I'm not tired, even like even if I'm hungry, I'll still go about my stuff because that's the way I am. Because um, I don't eat a lot anyway. You can you can probably tell. <laughs> but uh, I, 
I'd rather have the feeling of being hungry and just being able to be productive and do stuff than just not be tired all the time. That would that's like every other teenager when they go to school, they're like, Ugh. yeah, that's, that's me. <laughs> <laughs> would you rather have plants grow at 20 times the normal rate anytime you're around or for people and animals to stop aging whenever you're near? Why is that? Whenever you answer. Ooh. Plants grow or have people age. Like stop aging. Oh, stop aging. Oh, not people stop aging. Because if you hang around those people, you can be like, I can, like, you don't have to worry about, obviously, if you're only there five minutes, it doesn't matter. But like, say you're in a place that you're living and you're there for like a year. You can like mm -hmm. enjoy your prime. Be great. <laughs> okay. Would you rather feel like someone is constantly watching you, even though no one is, or have the feeling that someone is following you, even though no one is? Watching, because I feel a lot more comfortable with watching. Maybe it's just because I'm a performer. So I'm like, I'm okay with being watched. I do stupid stuff a lot. So I'm okay with being watched, but following, that's a different story. Uh-uh. Yeah. Okay. And this is the final what you're after. Would you rather everything you dream each night come true when you wake up or everything a randomly chosen person dreams each night come true when they wake up? Randomly chosen because my dreams can get pretty weird and freaky. So like, not, not in like a bad way or anything, but like, people would be like, what is going on if that actually happened? They'd be like, this is chaos. And it is. Um, mm -hmm. So other people's dreams. Because I'd be like, I'll, I'll see your chaos. Yeah. Your dreams. Okay. Thanks for that insight. We know this online learning has been an adjustment for all of us. Carson, what tips do you have for other students to help manage this new way of learning? All right. Well, my tip for managing online learning would definitely be to set a schedule for the day. First part. Don't wake up and kind of be like, oh, I got to get on online classes. Don't treat it like that. I feel like it will feel a lot more like school and stuff. If you say, I'm going to do um, school from this time to this time, I'm going to set all this time to do stuff and also set time to hang out with your friends per se. If you have a project or something, text them, FaceTime. Yes, we have these Google chats that are school specific, but go and talk to your friends, go and collaborate with others. I've noticed that people are using social media in very cool and interesting ways nowadays because everybody is only being able to communicate off of social media. So meet some new people. Maybe there's somebody in your class that you've never met face to face, but uh, you start working with them online. Like just make the best out of it. Also go to different rooms. Don't stay in the same room for more than a day. Make, cause just like we move classes to classes, uh, and just go across the school building, change up, change up your area. Maybe one day you're in the living room, maybe the next you're in the kitchen. Just, and stand and sit. Don't have the same um, position working on the computer. Make it fun, make it spontaneous. Okay, that's honestly perfect information. Thank you. You're okay. welcome. Now I have a few more questions. Let's call these unique interview questions. Okay, so. If you could be any type of candy, what would you be and why? Oh, if I could be any type of candy, absolutely. I would for sure be chocolate because I love chocolate also, but chocolate is just one of those, even if you don't like it, hopefully you can appreciate it because it's just, it's just so pure and it's good and it's just, I don't know. It's wrapped really nicely and it's the perfect size. Okay, but that also mm. begs the question, what kind of chocolate? Oh, what kind of chocolate? Ooh, milk chocolate. Nice, okay. What is your spirit animal and why? What is my spirit animal and why? Well, I would say a chameleon because um, on the hand of me being an actor and doing lots of different roles and stuff. Um, but in that sense alone, because I don't, I won't change 
I'm not going to change my appearance for my friends or whatever. If I hang out with different people, I'm not going to, but like for the stage and in show mode, I play so many different characters and stuff. So I feel like I'd be a chameleon. Also, I'm just fun to look at. I'm really colorful <laughs> and stuff. Okay. And finally, if you had six months with no obligations or financial constraints, what would you do with the time? Wow. Six months. I, um, number one, I travel the world all, all within reason. Of course, like if there's certain stuff going on in a certain part of the world, I probably wouldn't go there, but anywhere I could visit because you never know when something's going to change or something's going to happen. So just, I take that opportunity. I travel the world. I would meet people. I would get with friends because uh, just like we're about to graduate, you never know when uh, things are going to end and if you might see a friend again. So I would travel the world. I would spend time with family, spend time with friends, and just have six months of just life at ease and just really enjoying it, soaking it up, and taking every single one of those precious moments. That's an amazing answer, honestly. Okay. So we know your days as a panther are dendro. Then, oh my gosh, I cannot say, I'm sorry, are going down. So, what are your plans after high school? What are my plans after high school? Well, for the longest time, y'all were probably like, oh my gosh, where's Carson going? And I didn't know either. I was like, where's Carson going? Because I knew I wanted to do something where I got to work with lots of different people and I got to do theater because I love theater. It is just so amazing to get to tell a story and um, make the audience vulnerable in a good way where they can put themselves in the character's shoes on the stage. But uh, after so long of deciding and after many, many college auditions and callbacks, I am dedicated and I'm going to University of Wyoming. Go Pokes! Uh, the world needs more cowboys. And so I'm going to be in Laramie, Wyoming. Elevation is 7,250 feet is the highest elevation of any college. And um, I'm going to be there. I'm du double majoring in communications and theater. Yeah. And yeah, and I'm going to be cold. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm happy for you, Carson. Okay. Thank you. So of course. So we want to wrap it up with some words of advice. If you could share some wisdom with your freshman self, what would it be? Don't stop being you. You're going to make mistakes. You're going to do stupid stuff. You're going to have highs. You're going to have lows, but be you. Don't change for somebody else. Everybody gets to be themselves and only one person can be you. Of course, you're going to have you're going to have the stuff you're good at, the stuff you're not good at. You're going to struggle. You're going to be fine. But be, be yourself and be that way around everybody else because no matter what, there's only ever going to be one of you. So you might as well be yourself to the fullest extent you can be. That's really sweet. Okay. <laughs> so oops. thank you so much for taking the time to chat with us today. We really well, enjoyed know you better. If you're a senior and would like to jump on the bandwagon, fill up the Google form showing at the bottom of the screen. Until next time, go to and go Panthers! Woo! <laughs>